Hi, this is Bob Leodice. I'm President and CEO of the ANA. Today I'd like to spend a few minutes speaking about a very important concept, brand valuation. For marketers, brand valuation or building strong brands is actually the number two area of importance for marketers today. But what do we mean by building strong brands? Do we honestly have a good idea of what that means? For some, it means generating increased volume. For others, building revenues. For a third segment, perhaps growing profitability over the course of time. Our primary existence is to build strong brands. That's what marketers do. But one of the things that we don't do and don't do well is to provide a value for what a brand is worth. Do you know what your brand is worth? Not many marketers truly have that understanding. We have some generic understanding from lists that Interbrand and Millwood Brown through their brand Z valuations for corporate brands. So you'll see great listings about the value of Coca-Cola or from Microsoft or for Apple or Google. That's terrific. But what about your individual brand? I bet you dollars to donuts, very few or very low percentage of marketers truly understand that. So what that says to me is that right now, the concept of brand value is not necessarily important for the way marketers operationalize their management. Meaning to say, does brand value enter into the equation at all? Probably not. And yet it should. Because if we're in the business to build brands, then we should have a good understanding of what the economic value of our brand is worth now. And over the long term, our objective should be to increase that brand value. So to do so, we need to move very decidedly in the direction of standardizing a valuation technique. The ANA, in concert with the Marketing Accountability Standards Board, is taking the lead at trying to bring some standardization in the U.S to this particular concept. We think that it's time that marketers and everybody associated with the marketing community, including agencies and the media, have an understanding, a fundamental, profound understanding of what it takes to value a brand. So our objective is to create generally accepted brand valuation standards. If we are successful at doing that, and by golly, I think we are, we can then create the foundation necessary to move up the ladder to assess how brand valuation should come about in terms of a lot of our marketing mix decisions. Think about a conversation with a senior marketer or with the CEO and letting them know that if we don't invest in marketing activities, we could be damaging our brand value. Why is that important to a CEO? Because we know empirically that strong brands mean strong operating results, which means higher shareholder equity. The CEO is responsible for building shareholder equity. We know empirically that strong brands or, or organizations that have strong brands have a higher stock market value than those that do not. So there's something in this for everyone. Our objective right now and in the near term is to create generally accepted brand valuation standards. I hope you'll join the ANA and the Marketing Accountability Standards Board in this effort. We need converts, we need believers, we need participants. Thank you very much.